today we are going to look at how we create lessons in Mwele. Like after setting up, after creating your course, we are supposed to add content in that course. So we are going to look at how we add lessons and content in Mwele. So I'm going to click on this course unit. And I'll come here and say, turn editing on. After turning editing on, I'm going to come here to topic two. I will edit it. I will edit it. And I'm going to, if you want to change, you click here on custom. Then I'll, I'll say, unit, unit two. To give it listening, listening, then I'm going to save changes. After saving changes, as you can see, it is here. So I want to add a lesson. I'm going to, uh, to click on add an activity resource. Then I, will, I, look, I look under activities here to look for lesson. And the lesson is here. So I'm going to add it. After adding my lesson, I'm going to say click here for unit unit to content is to content. Click here for unit to content. And I'm going to save and return to the course. After saving and returning to the course, as you can see, my lesson has been created here. So I'm going to click here to add a content page. Content page is where we put content. So I'm going to say add a content page. Adding a content page, um, I'll get my I'll copy my content from my file here. And I come and paste it here. So here, I'm going to say, listen. Will be my page title, and my first content is there. So I'll come here. Content one description. I would say previous and jump previous page content two the two I would say next then jump next page content three I will say end and then here jump I say end of lesson then I save after saving you can see my Content page has been added, but I want to add in more content. So I will come here again and say add a content page. Adding a content page, I'll come here to where, where my content is. And I pick this while listening skills are important. So I'll copy this, then put it there as my page title. So I'll go for the content. Content is here. Content. Then I copy this content. Then I come and paste it here. After pasting, I will still do the same here. Content one, I will say previous. And here I will say previous page. Content two, I will say next. Next page. Content three, I will say end. And then end of lesson. After which I will add, I will save. I will save. Now oh, this is my first, first content page. This is my second content page. I want to add a third one. Add content page. What is the title of my Barriers to effective 
barriers be effective listening. Barriers be effective listening. So could be my to be my my title. Then I'll command get this content here. Put it here. Then I can also make under here under this page I can also make another subheading. A subheading which I can say simple listening skills. Simple listening skills. So I want to add content for that here. I'll copy this. Going to copy this and I come and paste it here. Come on. Now these are under this one. So I'm going to finalize here by saying previous previous page content to next next page content free and end of lesson then I will save my page so I want to preview what I have added, I come here to preview. And as you can see, now when you say next, it takes you to the next page. When you say next, it takes you to preview next page. When you say previous, previous takes you to the previous takes you to the previous page and that takes you to end of lesson so that's how we add a lesson in email thank you for listening to me